Hello everybody, it is Prodigy Queen again, and in this Prodigy video, I'm going to show you another way of how to get the awesome Storm Element Super Cute Hybrid Nibluff Pet in Prodigy. Now, there are actually two ways to catch in this pet. The first way is in the description, and it's not that efficient, so I, I wouldn't recommend actually, like, I, I wouldn't, if, I, if you want a few nibbluffs, that's not a really good technique, unless you're, like, really, really, really patient. Because you have to wait for a day for the bounty to come. But this time, you can catch it any time you want. Or you only have to, like, refresh it a few times. So here's what this pet looks like. As I was saying, it's very cute, and it's like a hybrid of a unicorn, a rabbit, and a puppy, and, and it can fly. So I think it's also um, a bird hybrid. I'm, I'm not really sure what this weird thing is. So I'm finding the bluff right now, so I'm going to go ahead and find it. Okay, so I found a bluff, and it does not evolve into anything. It is a storm element pet, as I was saying, and it has more hearts. It's not that powerful, actually, as you can see. It has less power and more hearts. It's a storm element pet, as I was saying earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and read the description. These critters are commonly seen flitting in, in and out of clouds, chasing after lightning. Boom! No, he, it actually creates lightning, I think, from its horn, because in the old Prodigy, it used to create the spell called Trinity, which, like, took three lightning bolts, and then it attacked the other player. So, let's close this pet team. So, the first thing you want to do to catch this awesome pet is you want to go to Skywatch. And you want to go to the world map, and you want to find this place with the beanstalk, three houses, and three chimneys in Skywatch. You want to click play. Now, before we begin this tutorial, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these awesome Prodigy videos. Okay, so now what you want to do, since you're in Skywatch, is you want to go to the slider over here, which has this, like, wind sign near it. And then you want to this, like, you want to go up to this pipe with the, this very injured pipe. It's very injured because it has, like, this tape on it, so you want to go up to the tape pipe and then you can actually skip this cloud nick since we want to go onto this slider so you can go to this pipe then and then go go straight down not that down just a little bit down and don't wear the cloud because in, when you're wearing a cloud you're taking up more space and you're probably gonna it's, it's gonna be harder to not attract the nick so it's, it's much more skittish if you don't have a cloud so you want to just sneak right below the factory. No, we started to battle it. This is what happens when you float too low. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page so I can be right back. Okay, so I'm back from the refresh. And now I'm going to be a little bit more careful about attracting that neek. So you want to just stay like about one, two prodigy inches away from it like prodigy inch if you get what i mean like prodigy wizard inch since like humans are huge and like this is this this like angry is like like less less than even the size of my thumb or finger so you know, so now that we're past that we can just go onto our slider so let's see and now what we want to do is we want to find a brow over here so, as you see, I have a cloud nick and not a brow. And there's a hob over here, but brows are never, 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 never over where this hob is right now for me. Brows are always over here. No matter, no matter how many times you refresh, there's never going to be a brow in this area. And sometimes there'll be some in this area. Unfortunately for me, there is a cloud nick over there and not a brow what we wanted. We want a brow because brows are paired up with the bluffs. So, uh, you want to keep on refreshing the page until you find a brow paired up with the Nibluff. So first you're going to have to battle this pet and then check the brow for the Nibluff. It's a very long process, but the Nibluff is worth it. It's so cute, it's going to brighten up your day like, like it did to me. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on refreshing the page until I find a brow and that's paired up with the Nibluff. Alright guys, so now that we're battling that pet that was in, in our way over here, we can check the brow for our favorite Nibluff. So... Heading towards the brow, 
And nope, it has two brows paired up with it. But so what we want to do is we want to keep on refreshing the page until there's a brow paired up with the nebulos. So I'm going to keep on doing that until I find a brow paired up with the nebulos. Alright guys, so looks like we found a brow that's paired up with the nebulos. So let's go ahead and see the, our nebulos. So as you see, it's over there. Oh, looks like I'll have to solve this question in order to see the nebulos. So I'm going to go ahead and solve the question and I'll be right back from solving the question. Okay, so let's take out the bluff with the volcano and it did a whopping 6,152 damage with a spell power bonus. So we won the battle and we get some stars, 21 battle stars, some member stars, 10 of them, and a chest. Cool, a cup of queen. Alright guys, so that was how to catch the awesome, cute, hybrid, nebulous pet and a prodigy. Once again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of its awesome prodigy videos. And now, I'll see you in the next prodigy video.